Now we need to add a fraction to a mixed number. But to add fractions, we need the denominators to be the same. Now the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4 is 20. So we can find equivalent fractions to 2 fifths and 1 quarter, which have a denominator of 20. 5 times 4 is 20, 2 times 4 is 8, 4 times 5 is 20, and 1 times 5 is 5. So we can rewrite our question, instead of 2 and 2 fifths, we can write 2 and 8 twentieths, because that's equivalent, and instead of adding 1 quarter, we can add 5 twentieths. So now we have two holes, the denominator of our fraction stayed the same, and 8 plus 5 is 13, so that's 2 and 13 twentieths as our answer. Now we have 1 and a half plus 1 fifth. So the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5 is 10. So we can find equivalent fractions to a half and a fifth, which both have a denominator of 10. 2 times 5 is 10, 1 times 5 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, and 1 times 2 is 2. So instead of 1 and a half, we can write 1 and 5 tenths, because that's equivalent, and instead of adding 1 fifth, we can add 2 tenths. So we have one whole, the denominator stays the same, and 5 plus 2 is 7. So that's 1 and 7 tenths as our answer. So let's show fraction bars to see what we did here. We started with 2 and 2 fifths, and we were adding 1 quarter. We changed those two fifths into eight twentieths and the one quarter into five twentieths. So now that our fraction bars are split up into the same number of parts, into twenty parts or twentieths, we can put them together and that gives us two holes and thirteen twentieths as our answer. Then we had one and a half and we were adding one fifth. We changed the half into five tenths and the fifth into two tenths and because they both had the same denominator we could add them together and that gave us our answer one and seven tenths.